Hello, it is Saturday, August the 20th, and this is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Today we read from the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 9, verses 6 through 15. Here's the word of the Lord. Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. As it is written, they have freely scattered their gifts to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever. Now he who supplies seeds to the sower and bread for life will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion. And through us, your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. This service that you perform is not only supplying the needs of the Lord's people, but is also overflowing in many expressions of thanks to God. Because of your service by which you have provided your, proved yourselves, others will praise God for the obedience that accompanies your confession of the gospel to Christ and for your generosity in sharing with them and with everyone else. And in the prayers for you, their hearts will go out to you because of the surpassing grace God has given you. Thanks be to God for this indescribable gift. And that is the word of the Lord. The article today is titled Talents and Thanksgiving by Lexi Sunberg. Here's what Lexi writes. One of my favorite things to do is cook or bake for people. I love the moment when I serve up a nice home-cooked treat and get to watch my friends or families take that first bite, hopefully delicious. All of the work put in up to that point is all worth the feeling of someone enjoying my creation. I could cook only for myself, but where would the fun be in that? We are all gifted with different skills and graces. Some are good singers, some are good preachers, some have the gift of service, and some have countless other talents. They are all made even more rich and fulfilling when they are shared with the community. Singers and preachers need a congregation, after all, to be, fully able, to, be able to fully use their talents and ability. God gives us gifts in order to share with others, to bring everyone in community, and to subsequently reflect our thanksgiving back to him. In inviting people to share in our gifts and generosity, we are directing praise and glory to God who gave them to us in the first place. Albert Orsborn wrote the hymn today, Let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me. Let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me, all his wonderful passion and purity. From the Gospel of Luke, chapter 17, verse 15. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back praising God in a loud voice. And that is your daily devotion for Saturday, August the 20th. Have a blessed day.